Hello and welcome, it's Richard McCann here from the I Can Academy and I cannot believe the story that I'm about to share with you. I'm up here in the northwest of England, uh, I'll tell you exactly where we are in a few moments, but I'm here with an incredible individual, I've just heard some of his story, but can you believe this? Gary McKee is approaching his 110th marathon in 110 days and I'm here with my friend Steve Robinson and we'll be joining, joining him on his latest marathon and uh, my big question is Gary, why on earth are you doing this? So 110 marathons in 110 days came about because Macmillan Cancer Support celebrate the 110th year this year. Covid has put um, a, a big stop to all the major events the London Marathon's been cancelled, all the money raises have been stopped, so I just wanted to do something um, to celebrate that 110th year as I've involved a local hospice at home, knowing that, again, they're on the, the, the bones of the bum, the, there's no income coming in, so I decided to run 110 marathons in 110 days. How's it been? It's been, um, weather-wise, we're in Cumbria, so, you know, we have Cumbrian weather, rain quite a lot and then a little bit more, but other than that, it's been quite good. It's been well supported. We've stuck to COVID rules um, from the beginning. I only had one other runner with me. Uh, now that the rule of sixes came in, we've got six runners. If there's more than that, we split into groups, but it's been well supported by the community. Um, it's, it's been good. That's incredible. Most people out there have been touched by cancer. In fact, I lost my own sister to cancer, lung cancer, two years ago. In fact, I was diagnosed with skin cancer earlier this year. So uh, what's your connection with, with, with cancer and, and Macmillan? My dad was diagnosed with cancer in 1997. It was a devastating time for all of us. One word sort of turned our world upside down. Fortunately, my dad was a cancer survivor. He survived another six years and he died of a, he had a heart attack, as well, an unrelated illness. And when he did die, I wanted to do something in his memory, thinking back to when we were told he had cancer and how people in each town, in each village, in our cities, every single day are being told the devastating news that somebody's got cancer. I wanted to raise funds to provide support for those people. Now, I do know that you've done this, uh, a similar uh, challenge previously, did it? Was it 100? Uh, marathons in 100, 100 days. So this is 110 for the re reason he gave us earlier. What's the world record for the amount of marathons that have been carried out in uh, in succession like this? Do you know what the world record is? So the Guinness Book of World Records for the most consecutive marathons is actually 59. I've previously run 100 and I'm going to run 110. The problem being is when Guinness set the records and the criteria they have all sorts of things like who measured your course, what accreditation do they have, who witnessed it, where's your witness statements and all that. Guinness are a company who make money. So if you want to pay a ridiculous fee, you know, then they'll, they'll allow you a little uh, leeway, but I'm running 110 marathons. Fantastic. Actually, a bit, bit like myself. So you are breaking the world record. You are, and, and uh, I'm, I'm great that we can join you tomorrow. Either way, you're doing this, and, uh, and I'm grateful to be given the opportunity to, one, join you, but put the message out there. So where can people support you, donate, sponsor, etc.? So people have been supporting me locally by coming and running marathons, but I've also got a, a Virgin Media page. So if you go onto the Virgin Media app and just put in Gary McKay, it'll come up and you can make a donation there. But other people in the community you've got behind me doing cake sales or whatever it might be to put money on that page to support me, support the people who's living with cancer. Fantastic. And uh, well, well I, I hope you reach your target. Do you have a target? What are you trying to achieve? And uh, uh, and don't forget, people, uh, get onto his, his Virgin Media page, which is Gary McKee. I'll put a link in the, uh, in the comments. So what is the target that you're trying to achieve and how close are you to it? How can we help you? So the target uh, of money raised would be £110,000 for the 110 days that I'm running. Um, I think I'm on around about 85000 84000 at the moment with uh, six marathons to go. We know a lot of money comes in late on, but let's keep our fingers crossed that the word gets out there and we raise £110,000. Well, good luck with that, and I look forward to tomorrow. Let's hope that there isn't any rain, but if there is, uh, we can do it. Thank you, Gary.